The last thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of action script just to the button so that when the user clicks on the button, it'll take them to the product page. So if I select the button right now and I'm on frame 65, if I double click on the button, you'll notice the button has a fairly different timeline now. It basically has an upstate, overstate, downstate and hit state right so up meaning nothing's really happening um, over is there's a mouse over or hover state down is when you press down with the uh, mouse and hit means like once you click and release so what we want to do is have this uh, keyframe also on the hit state okay so what I'm gonna do is select the first keyframe here on the upstate I'm going to copy the frame and I'm going to select the hit frame. So just right click on the hit frame and just go paste frames. So now basically that button shows up throughout all states. And I'm just going to double click back out to the main stage. And what I need to do now is add a new layer. I'm just going to drag it right to the top. And I'm going to name it actions. Okay. So usually I keep all my action script on its own layer. Right. And then I'm going to come over to frame 65. So just highlight frame 65 on the action layer. And I'm going to select the button. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to the window menu and select actions and once I get this action dialog box you'll see like a little code snippet icon here I'm going to click on that and since we're working with HTML5 we're going to twirl that open so HTML5 canvas We're going to twirl open actions and we want to enter in a snippet of code that says click to go to web page. Okay, so we're going to double click on that. Okay. So there's also just instructions in here that basically says replace that with the URL you want this button to go to when you click on it. Okay. So in our text file, this is the URL we want to copy. Right, so made by google.com forward slash phone. So we're going to copy that. Come back to animate. And we're going to replace that adobe.com address with this one. All these instructions here, you can actually delete them because you don't really need them. Right. So right now it's just saying like this, buy now button, the event listener, it's going to listen for the click and release. Once it gets that trigger effect, it's going to open a new web page in a new tab and it's going to go to this URL. So we could just close the action tab and then I'm just going to save this and let's test it out and see if it works. So command return, click on the buy now button, and then it takes us to the product page.